Alright ladies and gents, welcome back! This week's Clash of Clans video was postponed today, and that's because I kinda lost my voice, I don't know if you guys can tell in any way, shape, or form, but I'm gonna try to make you guys a short video, and I had a lot of time to think about this, I was like, what's something no one has ever done before? What's a question no one ever asks? And I tried to think of something, and it was more of a video that was for my own kicks, rather than an actual full-fledged video, but if you guys wanna keep on watching, it is kinda fun, so feel free, and uh, hopefully I get my voice completely back so, you know, I can actually go and make full-fledged videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start this video. What's up ladies and gentlemen? They said Supercell servers are uncrackable, but I had to crack them to get this particular bit of information. What goes on inside of a Clash of Clans town hall? And I got the information. And I also got names. So you guys ready? Let's go on an adventure. So here's how it works. The operation goes under Bart B. King, who runs the local bank account located in the town hall, with his VP of operations, Andrea A. Queen. In their spare time, they like to make these things known as baby bowlers and baby barbs. Harry the Wizard runs the town barber shop. Alexander the Archer is the secretary. Wow. Jerry Giant is head of security with help from all his minions. Last I heard, they were after a thief known in the streets as Al Capone. Bob the Barbarian once tried to get it with some archers. Didn't work out. He got played, and now he's assigned to Hound Patrol. That's right, he has to walk the hounds. Or should I say, fly the hounds. Howard the Hog is Lord Commander of the North and makes sure that nothing goes over the wall. Except him, of course. How? Well, he sends out baby bowlers after the pink walkers who come and roam the village for no reason at all. Barry Bomber is head of the bomb squad with help from Brian Balloon. Patricia Pekka is head of technology and is working on new ways to mine gold. She's come up with a new suit that can mine gold in less than 10 seconds. But for some reason, no one wants to wear it. Dan Dragon is chief of the local fire department and has to set a lot of backfires during the drought seasons. Occasionally, he sets a fire just for kicks because, you know, dragons get bored. Attention, new reports have just come in. Holly Healer is the town's doctor and is apparently giving President Grand Warden a vigorous massage. Wander the Witch and Gary the Golem went blind. Well. They're not exactly completely blind. Apparently they can only see things that have elixir on them. So, they were assigned to guarding the factories. They now use long range shooters to shoot elixir at anyone who tries to come and steal gold or elixir. Talk about sweet revenge. Not everything goes so smoothly all the time though. So, we got golem on ground protocol. You don't want to see what that is. Together, all these troops make sure that Yo Mama's village is being run like heaven. So, next time you go after a town hall, think before you snipe. Hashtag think before you snipe 2016.